Hello guys, welcome to App Unbox. Today we are going to introduce you with a very handy social media post management app which is called Planly. You can manage many accounts and with your team using this platform. So let's dive in. Alright guys, so first off we're going to open our web browser. So here we go. Now we're going to type down Planly. As you can see we have Planly on the first page and this is the Planly that we are going to introduce you to. So here we are going to continue as my account as you can see. So I'm going to log into my account. And as you can see I have added a Twitter and Pinterest in my Planly account. So you can add your account from here by clicking on add channel then you can select Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook and LinkedIn. So here we have calendar view and then we have list view which, which we can use to view our contents. Well as you can see guys the page is not fitting so we're gonna zoom out our page a little. As you can see now we have our entire page here. So we can go to calendar view and as well as we can have a list of view over here. If you have list of view then all of your posts will be shown here as you can see. Uh, I have already tried this application and published a post. You can also go to the post directly using this link here. So as you can see going to the post or maybe you can view the post from here. But analytics here is not available for Twitter, Pinterest or LinkedIn. It's only available for Facebook and Instagram at the moment. So we're going to go to our post that we have made. And as you can see here is my post, a test post for Plan Lee. All right, so we're going to close it and now uh, we have resources here. As you can see, you can update the pictures that you usually use. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go to my downloads and select the images that I want to upload. So I'm going to select these images here. All right, so I'm going to select these four images, make an upload. You can also select list view for your images and you can select uh, the box view, which is also known as thumb view. So, and you can upload images from your Dropbox, from Google Drive, or you can just take them from Unsplash photo library. As you can see, we have a lot of images in Unsplash photo library. You can just select on and add it to your uh, picture library here, media library. But I don't but I don't see those images being added, so I'm gonna refresh and see if they are added or not. They haven't been added. So I'm gonna try again and see what's up. Well these software seems to be a little buggy all the time because they are new in the market. Let's go ahead and select upload again. As you can see the upload is not working, so it, it must be on beta phase, then that's why the upload is not working at the moment. And you can also uh, generate your ideas and save it here. As you can see, title, post content, tags, and they can be saved here if you want to post them or schedule them later. So media library, currently uh, only PC upload is working. Let me check out if Google Drive is working or not. So here we go, going into our account. Now let's go ahead and uh, give them access. All right, so we have selected a video this time from Google Drive and let's see how that works out. Well sadly uploading from Google Drive is also not working pretty well. So right now you should only know that from PC upload is working correctly. And then how about Dropbox? Let's go ahead and check if Dropbox is working correctly or not. Well Dropbox seems to be working. Let me just upload an image in Dropbox. Okay so going to downloads and then we are going to select the test image, copy and we're going to paste it on Dropbox. Alright, now wait for the Dropbox synchronization to be completed. Okay, Dropbox synchronization complete. Now let's go and try to upload that image from Dropbox. My files. Let me see if it had any suggestions. As you can see, suggestion box has popped up. And you can also just locate it from my files and do it. But let's see if it works from Dropbox or not. As you can see, I've just selected a single image from Dropbox, but it's still not popping up here. So guys, mostly if, uh, in upload section, you can only upload it from PC, from Dropbox, and from Google Drive, or from Un Unsplash. It's not working properly at this time. Now let's go to analytics. And guys, as I've told you earlier, the analytics is only available for Instagram and Facebook at the moment. So we can't use it for Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or TikTok. So we're just going to go to calendar and schedule some posts. So let's go ahead and uh, schedule a post on TikTok. 
test post for Landly. All right, so we have uh, published immediately. So if I just uh, click schedule here, it will be published immediately. So make sure to edit here and select uh, this, select this share immediately option. And then you have to select an option when you want to publish the post. So let's say we want to publish it on 12 July at 7 a.m. Select a.m. Then click on apply. Choose an image from the library. I'm just going to select the first image just for test. And then I'm going to click on schedule. As you can see, it has now been scheduled. Now let's go ahead and schedule a post on Pinterest. This time I'm going to publish immediately. Okay, so test post for Planly. All right, now I'm going to choose another image from here. Select the media, select the board, quick saves, title will be test, and a no link will be provided. All right, so let's just go ahead and click schedule, and it should be uploaded immediately. As you can see, it's published already because I've selected the share immediately option. Now let's go ahead and check our post. As you can see, the post has been made immediately because I have selected immediately option from there. So let's go and I'm gonna jump into my account as you can see guys the post that I've made is now here in the saved section but it should be in the created section oh yes it's also in the created section so after clicking on save it will be also in the saved section what why is it two times maybe because I've saved this post from someone else earlier on let's go ahead and check it okay test for finally how about this one uh, I didn't know two times saving was possible. Let's see if three times saving is possible on Pinterest. Oh my god, it's <laughs> just a disaster. All right, so let's go ahead and create it. As you can see, I have created this content and uh, it's over here now. So let's go ahead and close this window. We have seen guys how to publish a post immediately and schedule a post uh, for publishing. As you can see, it has been scheduled and it will be published soon. But I don't know where did this post came from. Oh, okay. So we can deselect the accounts here as you can see first off Twitter and then we can select Pinterest so this one was Twitter's and this one is Pinterest I was confused then I didn't didn't publish so many posts for Twitter okay so after that we have the list view and now let's introduce ourselves with the calendar view as you can see on 8 July we have two posts this one and this one so let's go ahead to 9 July and we can uh, schedule our post like this now let's say on 9 July I want to post something on hour 20 which is 8 p.m. so here we go as you can see well 9 p.m. there is some, something wrong with selected so I'm just gonna go ahead and select 8 p.m. apply and we're gonna test post 2 alright now let's go ahead and select uh, the airplane media and it looks like uh, we are going we are posting for Twitter and Pinterest at the same time all right I didn't know that was possible okay so anyways let's see how is it possible test post two I'm just gonna copy it and do the same thing on Pinterest select the board click saves all right, so the board selection is not uh, needed. Because I'm selecting quick saves here, it's being saved on the saved section on Pinterest. So let's go to title, test post two, and the link will not be necessary. All right, all right, no problem. Okay, we're gonna select the airplane. As you can see now, publishing on 9 July at 8 p.m., we are gonna schedule the post for Twitter and Pinterest both. Now let's go ahead to the list view and as you can see 8 p.m. tomorrow it will be posted on Twitter and Pinterest together as you can see you can also select both of the Twitter and Pinterest together and make a post which is really convenient now let's see if I deselect an account and can post both or not so let's go ahead and this time I'm gonna post for 10 July alright 10 July 10 a.m. this should be 10 a.m. okay alright so we have Twitter here but we can also select Pinterest and then we can select the media but this time we are unable to go to Twitter as you can see well oh yes Twitter and Pinterest both are available now alright so we can add from our picture collection 
what if I don't want to make a Twitter post, just want to make a Pinterest post. So here we go, and let's deselect Twitter. All right, so we have it, and we have deselected Twitter because we don't want to post in Twitter. So we're just gonna deselect Twitter, and as you can see, the schedule option is available. But if you have selected Twitter, you have to fill the pictures and contents for Twitter, and then you will be able to schedule the post together. So at the moment, I don't want to schedule on Twitter. I just want to schedule for Pinterest. So I'm selecting Pinterest and hitting the schedule button. And it has been scheduled as you can see. So guys, as you can see, you can plan your posts uh, so easily using Planly and you can plan ahead. So, so you can plan ahead for your social media and never be backdated. So you can try out Planly and I think it's uh, maybe it's free, but if you purchase the premium package of Planly. I don't see any premium package here. Well, as you can see, we you can add up to 10 schedules at the moment. Let's check it out. As you can see, we have three schedules for Pinterest and we have three posts for Twitter. As you can see, guys, you can upload 10 schedules of if you have free account here. So I have already used three of my schedules and I have seven remaining, but you can just increase it by getting premium membership from here, the Planly premium membership. And here in my team, if you go to your team management, then here is my team. And now I'll go to edit. And as you can see, you can edit the team name, social channels. As you can see, we have two social channels for this team. And you can add more social channels from here and then we have plans so from here you can change plan as you can see one user two social media channels it includes one user and two social media channels let's change plan and we have starter four social channels one user 50 AI credits all right so if you have the pro channel 40 uh, per month $40 per month eight social channels four users 150 AI credits, $5 per month extra, $5 per month for extra user, $10 per month for extra channel. All right, so I am in free plan, as you can see. I've told you earlier, I'm using the free account. Now I'm already in pricing, so why are we going to the pricing again here? All right, so back to basic billing. And where were we? Okay, we were, and where were we? Okay, we were in my teams, and here in manage teams, going to edit. And here you can invite your team members to manage your social media accounts and they will be able to schedule your posts and make posts on behalf of you using Planly. But in this case, you will need to purchase the premium plan. As you, as you can see, my current plan allows me to have one member in my team and I currently have one member. And already I have two social media accounts added so that's why I can't add more social media accounts in it because in the free plan we get only two social media accounts that's why I've added Pinterest and Twitter so if you want to add more social media accounts let's see what you can get well you can just upgrade your plan you can get the starter package and manage four social media channels and with the pro package you can manage eight social media accounts with four team members and if you get the guru pack, you get to manage 16 social media channels with eight users. Well, that's pretty dope, but um, I'm not, I'm only here to teach you guys, right? So I'm not gonna purchase anything at the moment. So, and so guys, if you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any friends that will be help, helped by this Planly uh, web application, then please share the video with them and help them out. And I'll see you guys in the next video with another review like these.